Hey, Silvia, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Did you have a good day today? Yes, teacher. I had a good day. I had a lot of work. <laughs> ah. Where do you yes. work, Silvia? I work in Banco of America. Okay. Yes, but I, I, I am working in my house, a uh, home office. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you do for uh, for the bank? Uh, I am an executive. Uh -huh. eh, eh, ejecutiva de banca de personas eh, I see card en créditos uh -huh. credits credits personal okay. credits okay en unidad okay interesting it's nice that you can work from home. Yes, yes, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's not normal to work from home for the bank. No, it's because for the pandemic, but for, but at the moment, mm -hmm. for the moment, uh, we going to, we're going to, uh, to work uh, at home office. Ah, you're going to continue? Yes. This is good. Yes. Maybe, maybe to July. Mm, we don't know yet. Okay. The directors mm -hmm. sent, sent a email when they communicated uh, that we are continue we continue uh, at this far in this far ah, okay mm -hmm. but this is good because it, the the reality is you don't know in this moment uh, because yes. the covid continue the the restrictions yes. no but the covid still continues yes mm -hmm. yes for and it's very nice. Only we have to to um, to be responsible responsible mm -hmm. for the for the work and for separate for separate uh, work and and the uh, quehaceres. Maybe tasks. Mm, okay, tasks. It's, it's in the chat. Uh -huh. Tasks. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. These are normally the idea for uh, the different things that you have to do. Maybe check or write a report or the different uh, things. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. But this is nice because not all the banks permit you to work at home. Yes, <laughs> yes. It, um, we thought that got that on Tuesday mm -hmm. we had to present present it in in the office, mm -hmm. but uh, but a directors sent the email. And it's, it was great to receive this email. Yes, I imagine. It's very nice to stay at home. Yes. The important is you continue working, only that is more comfortable in the house. You don't have to uh, get ready. You don't have to wake up early. There's many, mm -hmm. many benefits for working in the house. The, the difficult is... Um, the in normally in in El Salvador we are not prepared with a home office that 
with no noise mm -hmm. for, for the children or for the areas. <laughs> yes. Because many times you are in the in a call or in a conference, maybe with Skype or an activity, and then you hear beep beep ah, el pan mm, <laughs> francés. <laughs> Yes, or the dog. It's very common with the dogs. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. How are you, Alan? How are you, Nelly, Victor, Andy? Hello. I'm fine, teacher. I'm going okay. So, what's about all the people? How was your day, Nelly? It was boring. <laughs> ah. <laughs> A lot of Netflix, huh, Nelly? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. And what about you, Andy? How was your day? I was uh, rest in my house. Ah, today no work. No. They are. That's good. That's good. Okay. Melvin and Victor, how was your day? No. Good evening, teacher. Nice. Working. Working. Melvin, in your house or in the office? Oh, uh, in office. I, I work uh, for. Four days a week. Ah, okay, okay. And you, Victor? I work in my house uh, all day, uh, and I I meet it with my by my <laughs> boss and uh, other. Vitality. <laughs> other partner. Okay. All right. Vladi and William, how was your day? It's very good. No. Yes, good. William. Good. It's very good. See, I had one meeting. Uh, what my 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 uh, partner? Mm -hmm. They work. Yes, yes. And it's good. You, William, you were in the office today. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well. Today we have an interesting topic. Today we are looking at descriptions, the, specifically the physical descriptions of people. How we describe the people, their hair, their height, the, their size. This is the idea for today. And you can see the ideas of describing, the word is called appearance. In 4.1, we have a lot of vocabulary. Okay. So here you can also see show you. Okay. Do you see how to describe the hair? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. I'm going to read it so you understand the pronunciation. Long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and beard. Do you understand what is long and brown? Yes. Okay, only one yes, but okay, all right. Do you understand short and blonde? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Remember, you have the emojis too. You can put the emoji and you, if you don't want to speak, it's no problem. Mm -hmm. Do you understand straight black hair? What? What is a straight t-shirt? Straight is that it doesn't have this waves. The straight is like the Chinese hair is a straight hair. Because I read, uh, I, I, I make the question because I read uh, in the past some article that is speaking about sexuality and, 
and talk about the straight people. Mm -hmm. Straight people are the heterosexual people. Yeah. Yes. yes. This is the idea for straight is no movement, not to the left, not to the right. It's straight, the same the hair. Right. The hair doesn't move. It's straight. Straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Tish. You're welcome. Then we have curly red hair. Do you understand curly? Colocho. It's like circles, right? Good. Okay. We have bald. Bald is no hair. That would be bald. Okay. Then we have a mustache and beard. This is the mustache. This is the beard. So mustache and beard. Next, we have age. You can see that we have different words for age. We have young, we have middle-aged, and we have elderly. Young is normally considered from 35 and less. Okay, sometimes 30, 30 and less. Mm -hmm. Middle-aged is normally from 35 to 50, and then elderly is from 50 It's okay the age? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Also, we use for age, we use the words like teenagers, right? They are teens. We call the word that, ah, teens from 13 to 19. This is the age for teens. It's another word. Now we have looks. We have handsome good looking and pretty the difference is handsome only for men good looking for men and women and pretty only for women normally the people use the word cute to talk about children or something that is young they say oh he's cute or she's cute it's similar to the idea of handsome but is not attractive is not sexy. It's like pretty. It's okay the idea for cute and the others? Yes, it's sure. It's okay. Yes, it's sure. Okay, good. Now, here on the bottom, we have some different words. It's short. Okay, we have fairly short, medium, uh, pretty, I think it's pretty tall and very tall. So, short, fairly short or medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. We can use these for the description from like small, big, bigger, the tallest. Is, this is the idea. Any questions in this moment? Not the topic. Okay. If you want to watch the video, this is here is only a small description of some of the words, but the video is for 4.1 for the word appearance. Now, why is that important? Because we're going to look at 4.1. Also, we are going to look at 4.3, where we describe the people. For example, we have how the people look. Sylvia, can you please be uh, Emily and Alan, please be Randy. Okay, teacher. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Grandy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet to, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has the beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Are there any words you don't know? No, 
No. Okay, good. Because this is what we're going to practice today. Today, in the first activity, we have three links. We have reading the sentence for the description of the hair and identifying the person. This is the first activity with the partners. The second activity is looking at the pictures and reading the sentence and finding which person it is. Okay, this is the same with your partners. It's for the descriptions, for the hair, the color of the eyes, okay? The third activity is more requirement, is you read and you have to write different information. For example, the name, the, the hair, the color, the eyes, the country, the more information, not only the physical. We have for Lady Gaga and Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. Do you see? The screen? Or? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Do you understand what we're going to do in our groups today? We have the three activities first. When you finish the three activities, then it's necessary to return here, okay? So that you and your partners can practice the conversations. That way we advance with the activities. So the idea is today we finish 4.0 and we finish to 4.3. Tomorrow we begin 4.4. All right. Before I send you the links, are there any questions, vocabulary, or pronunciation you want me to correct or to check? No? Okay, then great. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, yes, yes, Silvia? No, not teacher. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have partners, that way we can have more opportunity to speak. Marvin, you okay? Do you have some difficulties? Hello, teacher. Hello, Alan. Uh, can you send me the, sh the, the link so and again in the chat, please? Sure. Okay, no problem. Because I called an up and my oh, I don't know why. <laughs> no problem. There are the links. Okay. Did you receive them, Alan? Yes, teacher. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Deborah. Yeah. He's got green eyes. Mm -hmm. Maybe Leonard. Right. Yes, Leonard. Don't see. I Don't. think it's Leonard. Leonard, okay. 
He's got short blonde hair. He's got straight black hair. It's Joshua. Mm -hmm. okay. He's got brown eyes. She's cloudy. cloudy. Okay. He's got lace. Glasses. 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 Okay. Joshua. Joshua. Okay. He's got short black hair. Joshua. Joshua. Okay. No, Claudia. Claudia. Ah, he, he. Okay. Joshua. Okay. Got cool and black hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's a black. Yeah. Black girl. <laughs> she got strange Joshua. black hair. Joshua. 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 Brown eyes. Cloud. <laughs> A nail. Okay. <laughs> He's got glasses. Joshua. Claudia again. Claudia. Keith. Joshua. Alan. He's, huh? got, he's, he's got short black hair. Um, and Joshua. Joshua. He's got short hair and green eyes. Leonard. 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 And find who is. Okay. This one. Yes. Yes. Um, um Marvin, can you read the first one, please? Um she she got black hair hair and blue eyes. It's it's black hair and blue eyes. I think Susie. Susie. Yeah. Black hair. Okay. Susie. Read the second one, Andy. She's got blonde hair and blue eyes. Who's? Mm, blonde. And? Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, okay, here. Bill? A blue eye. Okay. Okay. Bill. Okay. She's got blonde hair and brown okay. eyes. Is a Becky? Mm. Oh, yes, Becky. She's got brown, brown hair and blue eye. Kelly. Mm. Yes, saying. porque Becky uh, son amarillos. Uh -huh. so. Vamos a ver. He's got blonde hair and blue eyes. Blue eyes. Blonde. Blonde hair. And he's, he's. Sí. He's. 
Veamos, tiene que haber aquí. Mm. I think it's Bill. Bill is the most long hair. Mm-hmm. Okay. She Because is... John, he has a uh, brown eyes. A brown eye. Oh. Yo se lo veo ahí medio azules. <laughs> I don't know. Es que el otro sí ya. Se ve así bien. Uh -huh. Veamos así. Ahí. <ríe> ok, the next. Uh, she's got blonde hair. Kelly. Yes. She's got blonde hair and, blonde, and brown eyes. Becky. 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 She got brown hair and blue eyes. It's Kelly. Oh my God! I got I I had a, a girlfriend that is called Kelly in the past. <laughs> when I know when I was in 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 in, in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Her birthday is on 28 March. Her mom and dad are Italian, but they live in New York. She has got a sister called Natalie. She is pretty. She's got straight black hair, brown eyes, and a long nose. <laughs> Her favorite, favorite color is light purple. Her favorite food is spaghetti. She likes very much the pop star Madonna. And La Lady Gaga can play the piano very well. Okay, let's start with the first, first one. What is the, her real name? Real name. It's long. Yes. Stephanie, Joanne, Angelina, Germanata. What? Germanata. I, I question, I question. Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, how do you say Germanata? Germanata? German. Yes. German note, German note. German note. German note. German note. Lady Gaga. March. Age and twenty years. Teacher. Yes. And how do you say her birthday is on 28 March? It's okay. So, so it's on the 28th of March. Uh, it is on the 28th of March. 8th of March. Yes. 28th of March. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Country. Uh, yes. Stephanie. Joanne. Stephanie. Sí. Veamos. Stephanie, Stephanie, Joan, Angeline, este te, te dio risa. Qué manora. <ríe> ¿Cómo se pronuncia este, este, este apellido, teacher? German Nora. Ok. 
Ah, pues sí, estaba, estaba en lo cierto, Nelly. Yeah. <risa> Because it's, it's Italian. Ah, ok. Ok. Her nickname. I think it's Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Ok. Angelina Manota. For example, Joaquín is El Chapo. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, lady. Lady what? Uh, okay. Lady, lady Gaga. Gaga. Yeah, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. And here. You're welcome. Birthday is um, 28 March. His favorite number is, num, number is seven. His favorite color is red. He likes he likes fish and chips and drink and he drinks Coca Cola. Okay, let's start with the first one. Uh, when is his birthday? Fifth February. Fifth February. Um, what? Uh, how old is he? Country. Country uh, is a Portugal. Portugal. Yes. Uh, Portugal. Sister, brother, uh, a brother and two sisters. A brother. And two. Two sisters. Job. Job. Football. Football player. Uh, Okay. Lo puedes bajar un poquito más. Eso ahí está, ahí está. Ahí. Un poquitito okay. más. Un poquitito, okay. Ahí. Ahí se ve. Okay. Sí, this is Cristiano Ronaldo. Dos Santos Aveiro. A, a famous football player. He play in Real Madrid football team. He is 26 years old. His birthday is on 5th February. He comes from Portugal. He's got a brother and two sisters. He's handsome. He's got brown hair and brown eyes. He's Mm, 185. 185. 185 centimeters, I, I think. So, he can run very fast in his Coca-Cola. Favorite number seven. Uh, okay. Okay. Ah, I am. Um, Oh. Okay. No, Siete. Okay. And Lady Gaga. Uh, mm. uh, yes, 25. Years. 26. Yes. Or 
Only twenty six. I think. Um. Twenty six. Ah, who is that? Why is that? Um. Hey, Maria, ¿qué pasó? No ingresaste al tu grupo. Hola, teacher. Es que hasta ahorita me voy conectando, entonces ya, ya no sé en qué, en qué lección están o qué. Hasta, es que lo que pasa es que ahorita vengo entrando a mi casa y no me no había podido entrar antes. No hay, no hay problema, María. Estos son los links que estamos trabajando. ¿Perdón? Esos son los links en los que estamos trabajando. Ya vamos ah, a... Okay. Ya estamos finalizando el link número 3, pero estamos trabajando en la lección 4 de la plataforma. Del 4.0 uh, vamos a finalizar hasta la 4.4 este día. Ah, vaya, perfecto. Uh -huh. Ahorita entré, es que no me había fijado también que la batería me está agotando, pero ahorita conecto. Entonces espero que terminen ahí. Uh, sí, porque ya, ahorita ya los voy a llamar de regreso. Así que quédate. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Ok, me quedo aquí sí. entonces, esperando. Sí, sí, ahorita. Ok. Sí, ahorita termino los grupos, ya van a, ya van a salir. Vaya. Okay, were there any questions? No. No? It's okay how to describe the people? Yes, okay, okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. ¿Ya creen que lo pueden hacer? ¿Lo pueden hacer oralmente? Okay, perfect. The example of what to do next. Here is the next activity I'm going to share. Okay. In the next activity, here we have many people. You see, we have many people. We are going to practice five times. Wait, let me see. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to practice six times. One me, one my partner. One me, one my partner. One me. How do we practice? As an example, in this line, in this line, the first line, Mike, Tina, John, Kate, George, Jennifer, Arthur, and Amanda. I am going to describe the person and my partner is going to guess who it is. I go one mm -hmm. by one, okay? So, for okay. this, we are going to practice making the questions. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. How do we practice making the questions? We use do, uh, sorry, or does. If it's for he or she, is does, okay? So, remember here in the in the lesson for 4.3 is, you remember this question, what does she look like? Is similar, only that now we're going to put here, does, does he or does she or do they is your decision. So 
let's see, uh, Andy. Andy, I want you to think of the person, okay, from this list. Do you have the person, Andy? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe. No, 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 no name, no name. Only, only, only select the person. Do you have? Kate. No, <laughs> not. <laughs> okay. Okay, no names, Andy, no names. Because Just for you. Sorry. Yes, yeah, okay, it's okay. A different person, Andy, a different person. Do you have? Um, she is the no, no, law no, no, spy. No, no, no. I, now, I practice the questions. Does does she have brown hair? Andy, does she have brown hair? What does? No, no. Does she have brown hair? Does. Does she does have she brown hair? Does she have brown hair? Okay. Let me put it in here. So, when you make the questions is, do, do they have whatever you're thinking of? If it's for a man or a woman, is does she have the same thing, whatever you are thinking of, or does he have? Okay. So the question is, does she have, for example, a long hair? Okay. This is one question. The other is. Uh, does she have brown hair? Okay. Or the other question is. Uh, okay, and I understand. Mm -hmm. Good. So this is what we're going to do with our partners. With our partners, we are going to ask the questions, and our partners is going to say. The answers can be yes, he or yes, she does. This is one or no, right? No, she or he does it. And then we try to guess the person. It's okay, or one more example. Sylvia, it's okay. And it's okay. Lad is okay. It's okay. Perfect. Okay. Maria, it's okay. It is. Okay. Perfect. Then here, let me send you. Before we go to the groups, let me send you the link. That way, you have the link to practice the speaking. Okay. And then we go. Okay. How about you, Maria? You got the, the idea, the, that exercise. Hello, Maria? Maria? 
Okay, I think we continue without Maria. I think Maria is having some problems. Okay. No, no, oh, okay. Let me share the screen. Mm, you see, Andy? Okay. See you, Marvin? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, teacher, aquí hay que preguntar um, solo do con das o hay que ponerle quién. No, no. Es, eh, solo do or das porque vos no sabes quién es. Quieres adivinar quién es. Entonces, oh, okay. pues, Cecilia elige una persona y le vos decís does he or does she específicamente para él o ella. Pero si no quieres poner un sexo, es do they. Para que el they se utiliza como él o ello. O él o ella. Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. Do they. Exactly. Do they. Um, okay. Y ahí cuando haces do they, ahí es cuando Ceci en la primera te va a decir si es mujer o hombre. Porque ella va a decir no, she does, no, he does. Ahora, si Ceci te lo quiere hacer más difícil, ella simplemente te dice, no, they don't. Y no te revela el sexo. Mm -hmm. Ahí está que vos vayas adivinando, preguntando y preguntando para ver quién es. Ok, ok. O sea, ella elige a uno y yo tengo que irle diciendo si usa tal cosa Exacto, del pelo. Hoy, no, no de ropa, hoy no estamos practicando la ropa, así que solo descripciones. Solo, Por ejemplo, glasses, eh, glasses, hair, long, short, Ajá, así. Ok. okay. Um, elijo yo ahorita. Yes. Ok. Ok. Mm, ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok, Cecilia. Preguntale. Ok. Um, does, he, does he hair brown? Mm. Brown, ¿qué es eso? Yes. Hair. Exacto, porque brown puede. Tener que ser sí. específico porque puede ser la piel, los ojos, el pelo. Okay. O sea, uh -huh. Ajá, does he. Uh -huh. um, um, does. Does he? Uh -huh. Hair brown. No. Does he? Is correct. Does he? Uh -huh, porque estoy hablando de él. Ajá. Uh -huh. Does he have no hair? Yes. I don't, I don't okay. serio, teacher. Así son las diferentes formas que puedes preguntar. Ahí depende de vos si quieres hacer la, una pregunta chiquita o más larga o mediana. Ahí puedes ir viendo. Ok, Ceci, pregúntale a Marvin una vez más y así le ayuda a Marvin a saber cómo contestar. Ok. Does he have um, glass? ¿Te falta, Ceci? Sí, sí. no, no does, he, ¿Does he have glass? ¿Black qué, Ceci? Uh, ¿Glass? Glasses. Sí. Glasses. Oh, okay. uh, glasses. No, I don't. No. Sería... no, no, sería casi, pero no sería no, I don't, porque no sos vos. No. Estás hablando de él. Okay. No, no, he does. No, he doesn't. Correct. No, okay. he doesn't. Exacto. No, he doesn't. Ceci, acordate que siempre tiene que decir, no puede decir, eh, tiene negro. Ah. Uh... 
tiene café. Ajá, o sea, la descripción de lo que... Te tiene que, ajá, tiene que poner de qué estás, eh, qué okay. es lo que estás preguntando. Ajá, el pelo, la piel, los lentes, los okay. ojos. Uh -huh. Does he is tall? No. No. Porque no vas a mezclar las dos. O vas a usar does uh, o vas a usar is. No puedes usar las dos. Ah, ok. Does. Bueno, aquí están dos ejemplos. Pero... Puedes usar is, no hay problema. Pero no uh -huh. puedes, o sea, el problema es que no puedes mezclar las dos cosas. Puedes decir yeah. does he have para la descripción de, por ejemplo, el pelo, los ojos, la piel. O is, como mencionaste, y después, okay. la, is he tall, is he fat, is he short, mm. así. Ok. O oh, she, no sé si oh, puede ser. Oh, how, how, how tall is he? Ok, también, how tall is he, exacto. Oh, oh what that okay. he Good. look like? No, ese no, porque entonces Marmite te va a dar la respuesta. Y la, la idea es que vos aprendas a hacer las preguntas. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, how, how solo, solo de cabeza. Ajá, solo de, de que vos le tenés que dar una respuesta de como sí o no, o eh, alto, pequeño, para que ella vaya a pedir. Ah. Ajá. Como que... adivinando quién, de quién es. Exacto. Él, ha elegido. Exacto. Okay. O sea, le daré pistas entonces. Sí, eso es. Okay. Does she have glasses? Yes, she has. Yes, she does. She does. Okay. Um, does she have um, a dress? No, she does. Con un tema fuerte, Vladi. No, she does. Casi. No, she doesn't. Oh, ok. No, she doesn't. Exacto. Si no suena como no, sí. Si... Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Is she root? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, she very is. Fast. Hey, very good, very good. Ok. Ok. Excellent. Okay. Now you change and it's my and, turn. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Yes, in the turn. John. John. Yes, John. No, it's John. Okay. Uh, does she have a uh, calvo? What do you say, calvo? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yours is a. Is a Calvo en inglés. Ay. Hoy lo vimos. Era para... o, o él era la parte de la lección. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ok, ahí está. I forgot. I forgot. The, the... It's in the chat. It's in the chat. It's bold. It's in the chat. Bold. Bold, bold yeah. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, ok. That's, that's, that, in the same way, that she like, uh, uh, the brown jacket, the repeat, brown jacket. Repeat the question, Victor. Uh, does she have uh, a brown jacket? Correct, okay. In the same line. Be in the same line. Is Jennifer? Yes, Jennifer. Yes, I'm born. Okay. Add your tour. In the next line. Does he has have? Does he have has um brown wavy hair? Brown. Brown, sorry. Wavy hair. Uh, 
Harry? Is it Harry? No. Okay. Oh. I, I say I say brown. Brown? Well, Okay, does anybody have any questions in this moment? No. No, teacher. No? It's okay, the idea how to describe? Oh, oh well, teacher, eh, um, how I can ask for a, I don't know, a pelirrojo? Red hair. Only red hair. Uh, no, also they use different words. For example, ginger. Oh, okay. Ginger is the, the, the red hair person, a red person. Correct. Mm -hmm. And how about the, the, an old lady or an old man? How about to ask for he or she hair? Gray, gray hair. Correct. Is gray hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay, you. You're welcome. Okay. And ginger apply to men and, and women? The, the what, Melvin? Uh, ginger applies to, to men and women. Yes, the same for brunette. It's the same for, uh, for, uh, for when you say black hair or brunette. Oh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Okay. We are going to practice again tomorrow because I see a, a, still a little confusion and we need more practice. But to, this is for unit 4.0 to 4.4. Tomorrow we practice more descriptions. Only let me explain, let me, so, because I saw some confusion. So let me explain in Spanish this part. Cuando hacen la pregunta, la persona le tiene que decir sí o no. No, no adivina la persona. Entonces si hacen la pregunta, does he have blonde hair? No vas a adivinar quién es, sino que decís, yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. De acuerdo a los, eh, los tips que le vas dando o la respuesta que le vas dando a la persona, ellos van reduciendo las posibilidades y pueden averiguar quién es. Esto mismo lo vamos a seguir practicando mañana porque eso de hacer preguntas es donde muchas veces cuesta más. Estamos acostumbrados a responder o a decir, pero tenemos dificultad con preguntar. Entonces mañana vamos a seguir con este mismo link, este ejercicio, practicando eso. Pero mañana vamos a incluir las diferentes cosas, colores, ropa, eh, descripción de pelo, los lentes, los ojos, lo, la color de piel, cosas así. Pero hay dos preguntas que, que perdón, que hay dos preguntas que son bien importantes. Es, una es la de have, Por ejemplo, usamos does he or does she have. Y el otro es is he or she, que son diferentes. El primero lo que estamos diciendo es que si tiene, tiene pelo rojo, tiene ojos azules, tiene. En el segundo lo que estamos diciendo es es. Es alto, es gordo, es seco. Entonces no puede decir él tiene gordo. ¿Verdad? Nos, nos sonaría bien. Entonces, ahí es como puedes pensar cuando usas does y cuando usas is. Okay. ok. Ok, good, good. Como le digo, no se preocupen, igual vamos a ir mañana, pero no quería que pensaran que eh, en algunos errores que era correcto, porque es más fácil ah, hacer consciente antes de que después tratar de corregirlo posteriormente. 
mañana, aunque es día de padre, siempre hay clases. Siempre hay clases. No vayan pensando que no hay clases. No. <risa> que lo disfruten, lo celebran, hagan todo en el día y nos vemos a las nueve. Nadie va a cenar con el papá, tío. Nadie, ¿no? <risa> ok. Good night. 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 Good night.